Hello everyone, Loco Force here. I'm here with an actual video that might actually be relatively decent. So, I'll, I'll be just be, I want to do something on my layout, I'm not going to lie. Um, I was going to like change it up a bit, so it would just be one big loop around the outside, big yard in the middle. But that would be too much effort to rip up and buy all the points. So what I want to do in this video is we're going to make an abandoned railway station. Um, mainly because I've just got this level crossing and nothing to do with it. And a couple bits of building. Um, and then there's this mess here I want to clean up. So, yeah, there's the platform, um, obviously, level crossing, um, which would have gone to like a car park or something that I'll probably make in here, but it'll be really overgrown and stuff. Um, but yeah, the old line would have probably gone like, I don't know, like that. Oh crap. Would have gone straight on, and then this one would have merged in, so we'll have a bit of gravel that probably like curves in like a point. That would have gone down there, but they built a road on it or whatever. Um, and then this way, it would probably just continue I don't know, somewhere down there. And we'll also probably, if I have the, enough uh, gravel, we'll probably make a thing that goes in here. I haven't actually got any abandoned tracks. I'm just going to make it really overgrow. The only abandoned stuff I have is this, which we're probably going to paint up, actually, to make it look a little bit more abandoned. Um, then there's just a bus that we could park up here, maybe stick a little bit of graffiti on it. Um, and I'll probably graffiti some of the stations, maybe. Um, but we shall see. Uh, we've got, I don't know, haven't got much scenery stuff left from when I made it. We've got some of this dark green uh, flock, and then we've got light green flock, and we've got massive bag of bushes. Well, not massive, and then we've got some dirt as well. So we've got some stuff. Um, and then I'm just going to leave my uh, GP9 running around the outside, which eventually I will buy a decoder for, but yeah. I might buy a Santa Fe steam engine instead, then I'll have three generations of Santa Fe. We've got the other locos parked up here, and then we've just got this totally dead uh, hopper, which might feature in a different video because I'm going to turn this into a scrapyard of some sort, maybe, possibly. It's all subject to change, but yeah, so what's first? I, I think we're going to uh, dirty up that crossing, I guess. So I'll be back when that's done, or I'll film it, I don't know. Supposed to be doing revision as well, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, starting off the painting, it's probably going to go horribly wrong. I'm just using uh, Revel uh, FX paint type stuff for model planes. Uh, so, yeah, probably going to use this fairly thick brush to cover as much area as possible. Let's probably actually clean it first, but. So you know, this, this this whole build is going to be done pretty cheap. This is worth about nine quid, um, but we'll go through it as we go along. So I'll probably add up the um, stuff I'm working on, what the cost is, if I can be bothered to edit it. Which. <laughs> start sticking on stuff like bushes and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and uh, do some revision. See what goes around. Be right back. Over there, we will start laying out like a basic, you know, track plan of shapes. Okay, so for guidance, I'm just going to grab a couple coaches. Uh, so what we'd have 
coach in there probably. And there'll be like a little, tiny little goods facility maybe. So that kind of works. So it can like kind of merge in. Right. And then this would just be a straight piece. Uh, accurately, because again, quite a, a large amount of this is just going to end up being bushified. Uh, I'm going to actually grab the crossing just to make sure it's at the right kind of width. You know, there could be like a truck parked up and a bus coming in. Maybe we'll leave this bit down here open because it could be a level crossing just to go across. Um, station building I've got does work around the other side as well, so but there's not enough rubber track there. So we can say that's just been ripped up a long time ago. Um, so, continuing with the cost thing, that cost me 20 quid, but you can probably pick up similar structures for like a fiver. I built this, this cost me a fiver. And then you can just get ballast sheeting, um, un ballast underlay, for about, I don't know, about fiver, and it, you could just use normal ballast, so yeah. So that's like some form of track plan, so next up. it all down I'm gonna to need to put more glue on after also word of warning this stuff does totally destroy the underlay this is some underlay I mean the base scenery uh, so if you rip it up this happens and it's kind of really hard to get off so you'd have to re-scenery it if you did want to take it up also this isn't supposed to be a tutorial this is kind of just like a video I mean you could use it as a tutorial um, but yeah so I'll be back when that's dried then we'll work on level crossing again we'll stick down some bushes uh, do a little bit more scenery work, and uh, yeah, that'll be that. Maybe, maybe do some work on the coach or something. Um, so yeah, see you around. Why do I keep, I keep I keep closing the video? But I'll be back in a minute. Jesus Christ, Adam. So if we put down a coach. For kind of like guidance, I guess. We need to know where we're going to put down some bushes. So I am thinking along here for starters, and then around the corners. So that's what we shall do first. I'm using wooden scenics medium green clump foliage. So that's like seven quid a bag, I think. I've no idea what any of this is in dollars, by the way, so, yeah. Right, where do I put the glue? That's right there. Yeah, my, my phone ran out of storage, um, so I've done quite a lot. Um, it's still drying at the moment. Um, but what I did was I basically got these bushes. Let's move these. Oh, crap, stuff stuck to them. Should have seen that coming. Look at all this. Luckily, I'm probably not going to use these uh, wagons, uh, cars much, apart from maybe this one. This one's quite nice. Ah. Right, okay, let's try and sit this back down somewhere. Um, so yeah, it's still drying, so a lot of it is still loose. 
Um, but the basic track plan, you've got the ballast going through here, then you've got these this small bit that comes off into like a tiny good shard. Um, I sanded the bottom of this, so I'll probably paint that at some point, or I might just not bother with it. Um, but I used it to collect some dirt, um, which I then sieved over the top of the layout, um, which then stuck down. So it's got some actual real dirt on it, rather than the um, modelling dirt. So yeah, I might end up using that. Um, but basically, yeah, sieved some dirt, real dirt onto the layout. Uh, then I got my flock, or whatever it's called. Which is this stuff and just basically just sprinkled it everywhere. So I, I don't know, it looks alright, I think. I mean, it's kind of a bit convoluted, the amount of crap that there. But you can still see the basic outline of the track. The level crossing, um, I covered that in dirt. That was the main thing that I covered. So I'll probably either put a truck parked on it or there'll be a wagon parked there. So I'm going to put down some crossing gates, possibly. I might not because, oh, I don't know, it might have been nicked or something. Um, so yeah, I also put down a couple trees as well. So they look alright. And then, yeah, okay. I was also put the bushes around the um, signal tower slash signal box, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I might do some, I put, I put like one bush by that door. Um, so I may or may not do graffiti on this. I think it actually looks kind of good without the graffiti at the moment. Uh, but we shall see. But yeah, it's just kind of a nice thing that can go in the middle of the layout. Um, sorry it wasn't more tutorially and I didn't show you more, but my phone um, ran out of storage. So yeah, next. Uh, yeah, I, I painted up these buffers and I forgot about them. Um, but yeah, I've painted them up and stuck them on the end of these uh, very minuscule sidings. So yeah, that that's now, now it's pretty much, pretty much finished. So yeah. Probably do some more work here and there. But again, yeah, thanks for watching. Or possible project. I've got this busted up. No couplings. I've basically robbed it for spare parts. But and then I've got this which just barely runs and I've also graffitied it a lot. So I'm considering maybe just turning this track here into a um scrapyard and probably adding another line that comes in around there. But uh yeah, that's for another time. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll probably leave you with some running shots or something. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've been, uh, enjoyed and yeah, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next video. Ta-ra.